So this school is basically everything I've ever learned in my life um, to do that. All of us went to school, we were learned biology, chemistry, whatever stuff. We have taken it all out from our school. No biology, no chemistry, no English, no Urdu, nothing. The, the, we have five subjects. Uh, number one is that for, in the fifth grade, we teach you ethics, uh, communications, podcasting, interviewing human beings, what, what um, Mike has been teaching. All this stuff we're teaching at the fifth grade. And then they're taught every single day a TED Talk. We, we show them a TED Talk about that problem. And then they have to make their own TED Talk. And we taught them, you just do this. Go to ChatGPT and ask it to write a script to make a small little one-minute video. Then they use Canva and CapCut to compile content from the internet, produce that video. It's an experiment uh, to see, can we do this? And I just know that I just have to fail a little bit more in order to get it right. It's, just, it's going to happen, but somebody will make it happen, or I will make it happen. Thank you so much for the opportunity, first of all. I have been following Genius U for uh, at least five to seven years. Actually, when he mentioned Mr. Hamilton, I went into inbox and I saw I sent him a message 10 years ago. Um, and uh, so my name is Rehan. You can remember it by rehab with an N in the end. Um, and it just means basil. So if you don't remember Rehan, it goes by basil. And I have a PhD in failing. I've done 150 businesses in eight countries. Uh, I've traveled to 84 countries and uh, I was born in Pakistan, and I have a telco business, which I retired from around 14 years ago. So I have just been literally traveling and trying to see what I can do. I met someone uh, 13, 14 years ago, and she asked, what's your mission in life? And I said, I don't really have one. So she, I, she helped me make one. And now, uh, as Pakistan earns typically $1,000 a year, I want to make it to at least $6,000 a year so we can have a better life for them. So I work on SDG goal number one, which is ending poverty. Now the school, all of us went to school, we were learned biology, chemistry, whatever stuff. We have taken it all out from our school. No biology, no chemistry, no English, no Urdu, nothing. The, the, we have five subjects. Uh, number one is that for, in the fifth grade, we teach you ethics, uh, communications, podcasting, interviewing human beings, what, what um, Mike has been teaching, all this stuff we're teaching at the fifth grade. I have around 14 million people on my Facebook, and I've spent all my life doing networking like crazy. And because I was denied international visas 27 times, I literally had to do it because people wouldn't meet me in person because they, I couldn't get a visa, and they thought I was some, something, somebody who did something wrong. So I started making videos. So now I have 12,000 videos on YouTube. So because I had to show them, you know, who, who am I, what am I doing, to social proof of all that. So this school is basically everything I've ever learned in my life um, to do that. Now coming in again from a country which is on $1,000 a year, we still have, you know, electric problem, gas problem, roads problem, gutter problem, simple problems. So, and nobody is, we can't see anybody who is actually fixing them. So what we do is we teach these kids on the sixth grade, we give them a wala or Mr. Smith, a, a water smith or, or, or an electric smith or a solar smith. And then they're taught every single day a TED talk. We, we show them a TED talk about that problem. And then they have to make their own TED talk explaining that problem, whatever they learn from the TED talk, and then tag the person who gave the TED talk. So for example, Thomas Powers is phenomenal at networking. So if somebody watches TED talk, they will tag him that this is Mr. Thomas, we learned this from you. And uh, would you be able to give me 30 minutes for an interview with you? So this whole process like, is less than a year old. And our top school student has done 500 international interviews already. And she's 15. Wow. And uh, she, I mean, it's unbelievable. And, and a year ago, she was not able to speak English. So, and, and what I did was they were not, they were not ready to communicate with American English people. So I gave them a dollar for every interview. And they, just for the dollar, and we taught them, you just do this, just not, oh yes, oh yes. And they used ChatGPT for asking questions. So they would take your profile, they would put it in ChatGPT, and the ChatGPT will give them 10 questions to ask, and they will just nod. 
And this way they did interviews in Swedish, Turkish, Spanish, all the languages, because they just had to nod. They just had to speak the words, and then the other guy just start to speak. Oh, he's thinking, oh, he's so amazing, and the guy doesn't even understand. But by listening, after 100 interviews, they actually started to learn English. They actually were understanding English. And now you can actually call them and talk to them, and they're actually able to understand English. The second thing they have to do is uh, they have to use AI and make a video about their Wala, about their Smith. So every single day, they have to go to ChatGPT and ask it to write a script to make a small little one-minute video. Then they use Canva and CapCut to compile content from the internet, produce that video, use text-to-speech AI, just like, for example, this video was made by one of our students. And this voice is not real, it's AI. So this kind of content they can create, not just can, but they do it every single day at sixth and seventh grade. That's their homework, or that's their classwork. And that's, that's 11 and 12. That's 11 and 12 year older kids, right? And number three, you saw uh, yoga, meditation. Uh, number four, they, now there's a new app called Annie, and you can, it's, it's chat GPT in the back, and it knows everything. But you speak any language to it, you can speak Portuguese, Spanish, Urdu, Hindi, and it speaks back in English. So now, in, in the classroom, they have to speak for 10 minutes a day to Annie, and it's all live. You can go to their Facebook, LinkedIn, and they can, you can see that. What that does is it helps them get more confident in English because they're now hearing more. And now when they go home, they can actually talk to Annie and ask about anything. Uh, number four, it's in a slum area. So these kids never used a computer in their life a year ago. So we gave them the computers and the smartphones. And they have to earn in the sixth grade, in order to go to seventh grade, $100 a month, which their parents earn right now. If in order to go from seventh grade to eighth grade, they will need to earn $300 a month. And in order to go from seventh grade to eighth grade, they'll have to earn $500 a month. And then when they earn in the eighth grade $500 a month, they have to start a startup of their voila, whatever that's, whatever they have been learning for three years, <coughs> start a startup, which we want to help them sell for at least a million dollars before they graduate in the 13th grade. When we get them an American high school degree, we don't get them through the Pakistani education system because it's really, everywhere it's really broken. So the high school in America, and there's a thing called GED, a, a general education diploma. You have to give four exams, English, math, science, and social studies, and then you get a high school degree. You don't have to pass O levels, A levels, and all that. You just graduate, but I'm hoping we can stop them from getting the degree before they make their million dollars, or at least something remarkable for themselves. So that's what the school is doing. Everything which an AI can do or the internet do, we don't allow them to do it. It's reverse. We don't have any teachers. We call them facilitators. They're supposed to ask questions with them, not for them. So they're not supposed to answer anything. You have a question? Okay, let's sit down together. Let's find it. Just like we do it with our own kids. So that's, that's, that's what we're doing. If we only have 50 students at the moment, uh, we have 100 students in the building, but um, uh, uh, the rooms look like you saw the United Nations room, so the, every room is different. The principal's room is like a rocket ship. You go inside, you will feel you're like in a rocket ship. You can take photos as if you're in a zero gravity room. Um, then we have this uh, United Nations room, we have the future navigators room, we have all these weird designs. Uh, we want to make it more googly, you know, like, like you see on the in the internet world that you have these nice little offices. We want the school to be very colorful. We're putting in a slide now to come from the third floor to the, to the bottom floor so they can just you know, slide in. Um, it's an experiment uh, to see, can we do this? And I just know that I just have to fail a little bit more in order to get it right. It's, just, it's going to happen, but somebody will make it happen, or I will make it happen. So any questions, I'll be very happy to answer. And we have also started online classes, yeah. uh, so you can enroll yourself or your kids. Yeah. Second, I would love for all of you to talk to my kids. Like, just give them an interview and interview yeah. them, yeah. and to just to experience it, and just to see what's, what, what's happening, and to see really if I'm just bullshitting here, or there's something actually going on. Yes? Thank you. Are you planning to take it like global, or 
since it's online, I have been doing schooling for 14 years. Yeah. I started a school on a, on a stupid phone before there was smartphone. As he was mentioning, 14 years ago, there was no smartphone. So I created content. I actually went to Mr. Beans to create content to educate us. Uh, he didn't say yes, so I actually went myself and made funny videos like Mr. Beans on here. So you can watch them, learn ABCD that way without actually speaking. Because the, the, the president of Somalia came to me and said, do it for us. And he said, we only have 200 languages or 34 languages. I said, I can't do it in so many languages. But Mr. Beans is understood by everyone. So for global, as I said, now we have started online classes. So that can be done anywhere. I, I came actually to London for the bed show. And somebody told me that you should. Many people told me you should do it in London. Um, if I get the right. Because in Pakistan, I can do all this for a few thousand dollars. Mm. Right? Here. It's a different story. Totally different story. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.